Hi everybody, I'm Simon from Vizu, and in today's demonstration video, we're gonna be showing you the very powerful B-Flash OBD tuning tool. Now this tool actually does boot and bench as well, and you can check that out on remap101.co.uk for our demonstration videos showing you just how simple and easy this tool is to use for boot and bench connections. In today's demonstration, as I said, we're gonna be covering OBD. We're gonna be looking at the reading and writing functionality. We're gonna be looking at data logging, DTC scanning, uh, data log playback, and there's even a dyno mode activation built into this tool. It's a very powerful advanced tuning tool, and it's something that all tuners should look at adding to their tuning tool suite. At Vizu, we do recommend having multiple tuning tools in order to make sure that you've got every opportunity to tune that customer's vehicle. To find out more about the B-Flash tuning tool, speak to one of our team today. If you're interested in learning how to write your own files, or more training on tools such as the B-Flash and other tuning tools that are out there, Go to remap101.co.uk and you can see our full suite of tuning and training videos available for you. They go from all user levels, from beginner to intermediate and to advanced. Now with this being a very advanced tuning tool, we're not gonna cover off the steps of how you connect to the OBD port or about connecting the battery stabilizer to the vehicle because someone who's using this tool should already be familiar with those steps. However, if you need to refresh yourself with any of those steps, again, hop onto remap101.co.uk to check out those training videos. We're now gonna open the software and select this vehicle and go through the options that are available. Now we have the software open. The first step is to move to the top left-hand corner and click on the vehicle icon to select our vehicle manufacturer. With the B-Flash software, you'll notice it's a very easy to use interface that we simply need to scroll down the list till we find the corresponding manufacturer for the vehicle we're about to tune, in this case, Volkswagen. Once we've clicked on Volkswagen and gone to the next arrow, you'll see, unlike some of the tuning tools on the market, the B-Flash is aimed at the experienced user. Experienced users will understand which ECU is equipped to the vehicle. As you can see here for petrol and for diesel, we just have a list of the ECU manufacturers and the ECU type. Our vehicle for this Golf R Mark 8 is a Siemens Simos 19, which we select and then move to the next screen. On this screen, we can see we have the read and write method, OBD protocol. We can also see we've got the data logging function and the diagnostic option all showing on this screen. So this screen is showing us if we need any additional connectors, any special cables, and also listing out the other additional options that are available for this protocol for this particular vehicle. As we said, in this case, we have OBD, reading and writing, data logging, so we can log the variable channels from the ECU, fuel pressure, turbo pressure, etc. And we have the diagnostic function at the bottom of the screen that will allow us to do simple diagnostics to the engine ECU. Including this diagnostic area at the bottom of the screen, we also have the dynamometer mode or roller test bench mode. It's a very clever feature of the B-Flash OBD tool, which will allow us to enable dyno mode on vehicles in order to get the full dyno bed test run from the vehicle without any traction control or ABS interfering in the power run. To explore the software a little bit more, we'll look at the options across the screen. We have vehicle selection on the left, we've already used. File management, this is where you manage your slave files for decoding and encoding if you have a master tool. Settings, where we can customize basic settings in the software. And of course our first advanced feature which is canvas monitoring. Canvas monitoring allows advanced users to pull data through the Canvas system for diagnostic purposes, if developing new solutions or trying to repair something on the vehicle, you're able to record CAN messages. Flash programming we've covered, that's the screen we're on at the moment. Diagnostics is the next option on the screen, allows us to read and clear simple fault codes from the ECU. Data logging we'll show a little bit later on. That's how we can capture the data from the ECU, the fuel boost and rail pressure, for example. We have the log analysis where we can view those data logs. And then our final advanced feature is live tuning. So this is for our advanced master users who are file writers. If they have a matching A2L for the particular vehicle they are working on, they can use the live tuning function inside of B-Flash to tune and edit the vehicle. The first step, before we read this vehicle is to check the diagnostics. We need to confirm we're tuning a healthy vehicle. So we click on diagnostics, and we're gonna come over to the diagnostic options here. This is where you'll find dyno mode, 
by the way. We're going to click on read codes and check for any codes that are coming up on the vehicle. Now depending on the codes that come up, you'll make a decision as a tuner as to whether to proceed with tuning or if the vehicle needs repairs. This is our R&D vehicle, it's had numerous parts taken on and fitted, so we're expecting to see a few codes on there. None of the codes on the screen are going to prevent us from tuning this vehicle, so we're going to press clear codes and just check and see if any of them have come back on. Once we've checked and the codes are clearer from the vehicle, we're happy to proceed with IDing and reading the vehicle. So the next step is to click on the flash option at the top of the screen and the first step of course is to ID the vehicle. Make sure we've got communication with the ECU. And we see the ID process is completed. It spoke to the ECU in a few seconds and we have hardware, software numbers, bootloader identification and so on. Once we've completed the ID, we then need to press on the read. B-Flash will ask you to give the file a name before it proceeds with the read. In this case, we're putting Golf, R, Mark 8 and Demo. The recommended process here is for any vehicle you're tuning to either use the vehicle registration number or license plate or the VIN number of the vehicle to make sure you have a clean file name that's associated to that car. You can send that to the technical team at Visu through the dealer file portal and they'll make any of the changes that you require to that vehicle. Whether it's better performance, changes of throttle response, on diesel vehicles if you're towing, need more torque low down, or even just an economy tune, the technical team can support your tuning file requests. So now we've got that file back, we're going to click on write and we're going to look for our modified file. If you're a master user, depending on the software you've used, you might have saved your file as a binary file and therefore the default BDC or B-Flash data container filter might not show your tune file. Simply click on the file type and change the binary and you'll see your tune file. For slave tool users, it will appear as a .bdc extension. Select the tune and press open and then use this helpful screen to double check you've selected the right file before proceeding to write. In this case we have, so we press the yes. And we can see on the screen the tool is connecting to the ECU again, establishing communication and beginning the writing procedure. We simply need to allow the program to continue until it's completed and we'll get the OK verification at the end. Once we've got our OK verification, we can see that the writing is successfully completed. ECU memory has been successfully programmed is on the screen. We're now safe to disconnect from the OBD port and disconnect our battery stabiliser. That is the writing procedure completed. So I've got the data login screen open now. I've clicked on it at the top and you can see before we do anything we need to connect to the vehicle. So we're going to press connect. We've got the ignition on of course and we've got a number of groups down here if we expand them that is going to show us what we can actually data log from the vehicle. Now the beauty of the, this tool is that you can choose which channels you want to data log. Of course if you select everything it will record the data but the refresh rate will be a lot slower and you'll have bigger intervals in terms of timing between each of those samples. So the sample rate becomes a little bit more delayed. The fewer channels you have the faster it can sample that data. We're going to hit the expand icon and you can see we've got wastegate on there, we've got camshaft, a whole host of functions we're just going to put a couple of things on for now. We're going to click the boost, we'll click the engine load, we're going to click our fuel, and we're going to click ignition and throttle. Click on these channels to expand them shows the data that's being pulled through. So we've got 78 out of 129 channels uh, available at the moment, 17 undefined. That's enough to start with just to demonstrate the process on there. I'm going to press OK. And we can see we've got the refresh rate on there. So the logger rate at the moment is 3.4 hertz. It's below the recommended or defined 8 hertz. In reality, we've seen between 3 to 5 hertz is more than enough for data logging most things on vehicles. It, but it depends on what you're trying to data log. If you've got a very specific, very tiny, intermittent issue on an engine after tuning, or even before tuning, you might need to narrow the channels down so you get a faster refresh rate so you can hone in on that specific issue. I'm just going to press OK to accept that rate and you can see instantly on the screen we have the data on here. A couple of things are updating, so pressure, 
etc. is updated on the screen, but we haven't got the engine running yet. So we're just going to start the engine and see the data change on the screen. So with the engine now running, you can see we've got all of the live data updated on the screen. And it's a pretty quick refresh rate considering how many channels we've actually got showing. And just a simple blip or press of the throttle, we can see this live data change for us. So we can see the data on the screen, so we know we've got good communication, it's updating. The next thing to do is actually start the logger. We we'll start the logger and we can put comments and information into here. So I'm just going to call this Demo Golf R8. We can put subjects and various bits of information in there so you can help organise your data logs. I'm going to press OK. And we can see now it's actually recording. Got it up at the top here, it's recording, the refresh rate, 78 channels, 3.4 hertz and all of the live data on the screen. RPM at 1300 at the moment, car's a little bit cold. It's recording, we have lambda values, everything really a tuner needs for data logging the vehicle for your stage one, stage two, and even into stage three. You have it here in one easy to use piece of software. When we finish data logging, we can just press stop logger, and it's gonna bring up us a folder to save the data into. Golf R8 data log. That's our data login completed. If we want to, we could import a template so we can create a predefined template of channels that we want to look at. Um, we can export the logs here, export this as a template once we've picked the channels. So it, it prevents you having to click on the boxes every time you want to go back into the software to log a development car or something you're testing. So we'll just disconnect, we'll turn the car off, and then we'll come back into the log analysis screen so we can see that data on the screen. So as soon as we press the log analysis button, it's gonna take us to a folder to open the data log, which we'll now do. And we've got our data log showing on the screen. We can choose any of the channels that we were logging before, so you can see them all listed down the side. We've got our engine speed across the bottom as we hover across. We can see the timestamp at the bottom of the screen. Then we can see the RPM change as we get that little blip of throttle up to 3,800 RPM, and then it gently coasts back down again. We can look at our engine load at that time. We can look at our long-term fuel trims. Shouldn't really see any change in those. We can look at a number of things on here as well. So we've got turbine speed. It's in there logging and just there's everything you need. So we can also focus, with the scroll bars at the bottom, we can focus on specific areas. So when you've got a data log, you're not having to suddenly worry about pressing record, running to the car and getting that run on the dyno or on the road done instantly, so you've got the data where you need. You can start the logger, spend a minute or two doing the various things you need, checking everything's all plugged in where it needs to be, and then start doing your data log because you can focus on that data with the filters, the little scroll bars at the bottom to highlight the specific data you want to look at. Okay, we do multiple runs. We tend to do sort of five or six dyno runs in one log, and then we can go back and look at each of those runs. We can focus on each run in that one log. It just makes the life of a tuner much easier, um, less hassle, less stress when you're using a piece of advanced software like this. As you can see from this demonstration, this is a very powerful and advanced tuning tool. To add this to your range of tuning tools and equipment you currently use, contact the Vizu team today. This tool offers a wide range of features and functions that are not available on other tuning tools on the market, so there's no better time to add B-Flash to your list of equipment and tools. To check out more training videos and tool demonstrations, visit remap101.co.uk. You can see more about the B-Flash with our boot and bench demonstration video, and also our courses on file writing if you want to advance your tuning capability and knowledge to the next level, progress from a slave or client tuning tool user and become a master tuner in your own right, remap101.co.uk is the place to go. Thanks for watching. <laughs>